what's up YouTube, it's really Rick. Well, today I had to reinstall Windows on my computer, and since that takes a long time, I thought I would, you know, read my Bible, because everyone knows that's what I do. Well, I paid particular attention to the books of Daniel and Revelation, and I think I've stumbled across something that nobody knows about. Are you ready? Barack Obama is the Antichrist. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but just follow me here. Listen to how the Bible and how biblical scholars describe the Antichrist, and you tell me if Barack Obama does not fit the bill. Now, the Antichrist is also described as the beast in the Bible and he will have great charisma and speaking ability quote a mouth speaking great things and we all know Barack Obama is a great speaker the Antichrist will rise to power on a wave of euphoria as he temporarily saves the world from its desperate economic military and political problems and he has promised all of those this guy at the Democratic Convention is going to give a speech in front of a hundred thousand people at Mile High Stadium. I mean, come on, no politician has ever done that before. Now, the Bible does say that the Antichrist could well rise out of um, Europe or the Soviet Union, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the truth. Now we have Barack Hussein Obama. Okay, Barack Hussein Obama who came, wasn't he born in like Babylon or you know that particular area? So that's where like the Bible started. You know what I mean? So it's very possible that um, that he's the Antichrist. Now there, um, there's always been much speculation some people have said Vladimir Putin, uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Pope Benedict the 16th, etc. But the Bible does not say anything specifically about where the Antichrist will come from. Many biblical scholars believe he will come from a confederacy of ten nations and or a reborn Roman Empire. Others see him as being a Jew since he would have to be in order to claim to be the Messiah. Now it is all just speculation since the Bible does not specifically say the Antichrist will come where he will come from or what race he will be. One day the Antichrist will be revealed and uh, Thessalonians 2 chapter 2 verse 3 4 tells us how we will recognize don't let anyone deceive you in any way for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed the man doomed to destruction he will oppose and he will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped so that he sets himself up in God's temple proclaiming himself to be God now Jeremiah Wright good Christian right so what does Obama do he says, I don't even believe in, in, in that, that horrible preacher. So he is putting himself above the preacher. Now, it is likely that most people uh, who are alive when the Antichrist is revealed will be very surprised at his identity. The Antichrist may or may not be alive today, but we all know he is. It's Barack Obama. And um, all inhabitants of the earth will worship this beast. All whose names have not been written in the book of life belonging to the lamb that was slain from the creation of the world. So, look, he just fit. look at this picture, Obama. Does that not look like the Antichrist to you? So, I just want to warn everyone out there to be careful and to not fall for it, to not take the mark of the beast on your forehead or your or your hand I'm telling you something's gonna happen when he gives that speech in front of those hundred thousand people he's gonna magically do something so be careful look at this picture look turban terrorist 
Obama Antichrist. Mark my words. You heard it here first. <laughs>